Heavens above, the inside of Justin Trudeau's head must be a terrible place to live right now. Imagine seeing racists and misogynists in every shadow. Imagine trying to govern a country of people with unacceptable opinions and having such beautiful thoughts and exquisite sensibilities as he undoubtedly does. Imagine forever hearing whistles that only dogs are supposed to hear. All this. And Pierre Polyev has been conservative leader for just four days. Uneasy rests the head that bears the crown indeed. What's going on here is obvious. What the prime minister calls dog whistles, when it's Polyev he's talking about, are recognized by everybody as mere virtue signaling when he summons his own familiars. Same thing. And with his whinging attacks on Polyev, Justin Trudeau is trying to define Polyev before Polyev gets a chance to define himself. Of course, it's what politicians do. Trudeau's only problem is that for his almost seven years as prime minister, he has already by his deeds defined himself as everything that Polyev is not. That is, a complete and total hypocrite, a phony, someone who represents himself as morally superior but acts without second thought or scruple. People trust Polyev to be who he says he is. Not everybody likes him, that's how it is. But in the 18 years since he was first elected to Parliament, he has not surprised us. Not so Mr. Trudeau. Unlike Polyev, he surprises us almost daily. At different times, the Prime Minister has proclaimed himself to be a feminist, a champion of diversity who took a knee for Black Lives Matter, someone who loves the law with religious intensity, a friend to indigenous people, and a social justice crusader so dedicated to reconciliation that he apologizes for things he never did, nor anybody else did in his lifetime. A climate change crusader who was a wokester before woke was cool. However, talk about his feminism to the women who left his caucus in disgust. Try and square his blackface episodes with anything he ever said about equity, diversity, and inclusion. What do you say to somebody who wants to shut down your oil sands, turn down your thermostat, and ride a bike? But in August, put 120 tons of carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere by flying a government jet the equivalent of two-thirds of the way around the world. And for what? Photo ops and fun. The average car emits about four and a half tons of carbon dioxide a year. So let's see, the prime minister just burned through my carbon dioxide emissions for 25 years in less than a month. I don't want to hear any more about cutting carbon emissions from Justin Trudeau. Here at the Western Standard, we're fair. So we'll also be watching for Pierre Polyev to stay on his freedom and prosperity message. And when, and if he gets the chance to act on it. Of course, when it comes to policy, we recognize that no matter how hard you try, sometimes you walk into a wall. That's disappointing, but that is not hypocrisy. What is hypocrisy is when you say you're wonderful and act like, well, like the Prime Minister. For the Western Standard, I'm Nigel Hannaford. You can become a Western Standard member for just $10 a month or $99 a year for unlimited access.